So our efforts to bring their sparring partners, their coaches at any time, and integrate with our own performance staff. We have a 30,000 square foot facility to show you guys, providing interdisciplinary service and strength and conditioning, physical therapy, nutrition, performance analytics, and of course, MMA. We have a lot to show you, a couple hours to do it. I think we've hit our allotted time in the media center. <laughs> So what we're going to do from here is take a 15 minute tour of the facility itself. Then we're going to break into two groups and your experience will start. The first group will start on the first floor, the second group on the second floor. After 30 minutes we will rotate and at the end of that hour everyone will come back together for some post-workout shakes and then a dip in our hot plunge and cold plunge if you dare, okay? So back up and let's begin the tour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, it's changed quite a bit. <laughs> a little bit since you've seen it last. Yeah. Here we are in our sports specific floor, MMA floor, obviously. Full size regulation octagon. Full size regulation boxing ring. Dedicated bag area, dedicated grappling area. Now, our octagon is equipped with high speed, high definition cameras. So athletes and their coaches can then track their sparring sessions and feedback instantaneously provided on that giant 84 inch touch screen during live sparring sessions. So this is our relaxation lounge. The logic behind this room is to build a non-gym room in a gym. So when an athlete has a 10 a.m. training session and a 4 p.m. training session, they don't have to go back to their hotel. They can dine on site for free and come back here in our relaxation lounge and kick back and unwind. These are sleep pods here for the athletes to catch some Z's in. Provides a massage, ambient lighting, and of course, Xbox, TVs. Can they watch their own fight? Can they pull their own fight? Next door. performance analysis suite. So all the analysis that will need to be done during an athlete's training, whether it's on the second floor or the first floor, reviewing their, their sparring sessions, reviewing opponent's film, reviewing their own film, reviewing some of their analytics from the first floor and the strength and conditioning sessions will be done in here with our support staff, with their own staff. So it's a dedicated workspace for athletes to crunch the numbers, review analytics, review tape. A highlight here is just a dedicated entrance for UFC athletes. So we have a main entrance to the campus as a whole for staff. But as our athletes, you come to the Performance Institute, they'll be received here by our athlete service coordinators. This is a great shot. This is our mission statement for the entire facility. So we wrote this two years ago. It was actually a force idea to say, hey, what if we turn this into art and put it in our lobby? Not that we would ever forget it, but just in case. We actually started where we are right now, the lock rooms. Now the purpose for that, as we benchmark true our performance training facilities, we identify that it's not just the services which you provide, it's the efficiency in which you do it. So from here, men's, women, men's locker room, women's locker room, our recovery corridor, our hydrotherapy area located right around the corner here, our fueling station, nutrition bars located right here as the athletes exit the locker room. And then this hallway goes to the main strength and conditioning floor, our physical therapy suite, and then a stairwell right upstairs to the dedicated MMA specific floor. So follow me this way, we're gonna check out a recovery zone. The door is dedicated to recovery. Cryotherapy chamber located here. Whole body laser light therapy pod using infrared lighting technology located here. And then to our hydrotherapy area. So this treadmill hydraulically will raise to the top, and after they can step on the treadmill, be lowered down into the pool, and then they can work on their gait when they have a lower body injury with zero stress on their lower body. Steam room, sauna. So one of the pillars of the entire facility is to keep UFC athletes healthy, and when they do get hurt, get them back to play as soon as possible. So this entire recovery corridor is a true pillar of what we're trying to deliver. We have every recovery modality in any high-performance facility all across the world. 
cryotherapy, laser light therapy, hot plunge, cold plunge, hydrogen, or whatever. Could you explain briefly what the laser light therapy does? It uses infrared lighting technology to penetrate the skin and reduce inflammation. You lie in it for about 8 to 12 minutes. First thing in the morning, athletes will be coming in, checking in here, uh, where we'll be taking down their, their food uh, menu order for the day, for lunch and breakfast tomorrow. Uh, in addition, we'll be getting a product for the day's training session. We'll be personalizing the vitamin and minerals to, again, try to model and provide the, the gold standard of what they can be doing to support their training, to support their health, uh, immune system recovery, etc. Uh, they'll also be on the way into their training session, be uh, accessing right here, uh, essentially a gelatin shot with vitamin C made with orange juice. Uh, that helps prime the body, the bones, and connective tissue. The collagen that needs to be uh, present to rebuild muscle and connective tissue will be ready to go to optimally support the training recovery. As you guys can see from the, from the suite in there, we're really dedicated to, to fighting inflammation, to battling uh, all of the things that are breaking the body down from the inside and out. What we're doing here is utilizing nutrition to support that. Strength and conditioning, it's a very multifaceted field. So we'll have a number of different um, actions for the use of this room. One, primarily increasing performance. So from a strength and conditioning standpoint, strength, speed, power, agility, obviously is a huge endurance component. Um, but there's also some rehabilitative components working hand in hand with our, our physical therapy team. Immediately off the weight room floor is a hypoxic chamber. So hypoxia is about altitudes. You know, we remove oxygen from the environment uh, and we can simulate going to the top of Everest. So 10,000 feet in this one room right here. So we'll be able to utilize that facility with the athletes for not only conditioning and create physiological adaptation that's gonna elevate their conditioning and their fitness levels, but we also can use it for rehabilitation and accelerating the rates at which people can come back to health following surgery or following injury. Here we have a dedicated outdoor turf training area. These four hangar doors aesthetically are great but functionally deliver a real purpose and that has to triple the size of our functional training area. In this climate those doors are open 80% of the year. Along the base of that wall, we have an Olympic grade surface sprint trap. We're going to make our way down our indoor 40 yard turf trap. So, again, just to highlight our two tracks outdoor, we have an Olympic grade surface sprint track. So, that's used for true testing analysis. This indoor turf track is used for sled pulls and drags, pre activation work. And at the base of our track is our impact wall. So this is where our athletes would do their med ball work, their rotational work, which is really pivotal in our sport. Physical therapy suite. Recovery and rehabilitation, as I mentioned, is a pillar in what we're trying to deliver our athletes. A quick design feature to highlight, as you look directly behind you, you see this glass window looking on to the strength and conditioning floor. Going back to the theme of delivering services, but doing so efficiently. Our director of physical therapy, Heather Linden, can interact with our director of strength and conditioning, Bo Sandoval, to ensure the programming for the athletes is seamless. And Heather's gonna give you an overview of exactly what we're gonna deliver out of this suite. Welcome, everybody. So as you can tell, we have the state-of-the-art equipment for everything from daily maintenance treatments, collaborating with the rest of the team on rehabilitations, and preparing all the athletes for any of their fights. So from everything from plants to do manual treatments or doing massage, doing laser treatments, doing any type of physical therapy and rehab, we have all sorts of things for recovery for these athletes. Key is going to be to keep our athletes healthy. 
If we want them to be successful, we have to keep them on track and make sure that they're healthy in all aspects. So we have game readies. We have Norma Techs, which are compression devices for recovery so that they aren't getting as sore and being able to compete the next day or being able to train the next day. We also have two physician suites where we can do small um, treatments. We can do anything like stitching or any kind of little surgical things or wound care and things like that that we need to do in those areas as well. We also have a biodex machine where we can do isokinetic testing. We can look at strength and do baselines. One thing we can do is take uh, these athletes and do baselines on everything and then see where they are and track them to see how we can keep them healthy and match with that. We also have a Pilates reformer in the back there as well as different balance equipment. Um, coming from the Olympic Training Center, it's amazing when you take these really powerful athletes and put them into a Pilates training session. It's a lot harder than it looks and it really isolates those small muscle groups and those fine muscle groups that a lot of athletes don't always cover. So not only are we going to be looking at baselining, but keeping these athletes healthy, doing rehabs when they're injured, and then just doing any other tweaking that we need to do to get them to top level. And to, re to reiterate, I don't want this message to be lost. All UFC athletes at any time have access to this facility free of charge. In addition, they have access to our staff, our world-class performance staff, at no cost. So they can use this facility, but also have individualized programs and attention delivered to them at no cost year-round. Two more rooms to show you, and then we're going to get started and have some fun. Thank you. Impact performance most in our sport. Staying healthy, making weight. This is a dedicated nutrition consultation room. Clint's going to give you an idea of exactly what we deliver here. Yeah, huge, huge point of emphasis is supporting our athletes in, in not only making weight, but doing so in, in the most efficient, effective, and healthful way that they possibly can so that we can not only perform well at the upcoming fight, but continue to perform well along into our career. Um, this is an iDEXA machine that is uh, essentially uh, emits very, very low x-ray um, to do full body scans for bone density, um, which is obviously very linked to nutritional status, as well as body composition assessment. This is the gold standard of body composition assessment. Um, it's not here, it doesn't live here right now, but I will be fighting with our sports science team uh, for our metabolic card, and it'll live here uh, probably most of the time. Um, it's currently in the hypoxic chamber, but we'll be doing uh, full metabolic assessments for all of our athletes as part of their um, nutrition profiling. Um, huge in, in what we hear so often with our athletes is that the weight cut keeps getting harder and harder and, and these types of things and so much of that is tied to metabolic health. So we'll be putting together four comprehensive profiles um, that will guide all of the nutrition education, nutrition counseling, nutrition programming.